Hi y'all, it's me. I have some hauls to share with you. Actually, I have two different videos I'll be putting up because it's too much for one. So let me just jump right in. I went over to Michael's. I was actually looking for a punch that they didn't have. And while there, I noticed they had their um, hot buys, you know, buy one, get two free. It's not a great deal. They're like seven bucks a piece or something. But I didn't want to miss this and not get it. So I picked this up. Now, if you look at this and you recognize it from last year, it is because it was the paper pad called Sugar Blush. You can see the Santa right there that matches that Santa. And I don't know why they brought it out this year unless they're going to bring it out again. I don't know. Um, they didn't have any paper pads for Christmas, just this and a couple others that they had, say, Freeze. And they had sticker books for some of the collections of last year. So I'm going to kind of flip through this pretty quickly because I've got a, a lot of other stuff to share with you. But you can always pause it if you want to look better. Now, the problem with this one, and well, it's not a problem. I just don't understand. But in here, this that's clear sticker, this one here. This one has um, the Sugar Blush, which I love these, by the way. They're the days of the month. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm so glad I got this page. So you get them up till Christmas. Um, these are clear. But look, it goes into another collection. And I don't even know what this collection is or if I even saw it last year. I don't know if they forgot to put this book out last year. I have no idea. But anyhow, it goes into this collection, which is pretty, it's pretty cute. It's all pastel, but I just don't know what paper it goes with. That's clear. More numbers now it pops into yet another collection that i still don't know about either and that's this one and these are clear i have no idea like i said where these popped up from but anyway i wanted the sugar blush part of it so i can guess use some of these to mix in with it with other collections or something but anyhow i picked one up for me and one for a friend but because there was buy one get two free I didn't know what else to get because I really didn't want the um the uh paper pads there was nothing there that I cared for so I tried to pick the, I picked this one up and this is pigment ink in pastel colors I don't know if it's great ink or not I mean I think I've tried those little cubes and they're so so but like I said I didn't know what else to get so I just added that into the basket then I went over to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby's having a clearance in their craft section, and their Christmas stuff is 40% off, as is their fall stuff. So the only things I bought at uh, from Christmas stuff were these little candies. They're, they have rings on them, so you can put them on dangles, and that's what I got them for. So that. Uh, they had these pretty snowflakes. These were 40% off, and I love the intricacy of the cut, and they're felt, and there's quite a few in there so I picked those up to use with some Christmas projects and y'all know I love camping and they had this and I had to get it it was 40% off of $5.99 and it's so cute I love campers I love camping so I had to have that then I popped over to the um, craft section and there comes all the red tag clearance <clears throat> this was 99 cents so I picked up one of those these were 74 cents each, so I picked up two of these. They're um, acrylic flowers. I picked up these Prima flowers, $1.24. They had these um, snowflakes for 99 cents. These popsicles were 62 cents, and I had just bought them at regular price like the week before. <laughs> and I know I could return them and all that, but I don't want to go through that. So anyway... Uh, they had bottle caps on sale, and I was actually looking for the tool that punches into the bottle caps because that was on clearance too, but they didn't have any. So I picked these up. These were 99 cents, and then this box was also on sale for $2.24. You get all those colors in there. I did pick up this because I have one, but it broke, and I wanted another one, and it was on clearance. I wasn't going to pay full price because they're 15 bucks. Well, at least at Hobby Lobby. Other places are there more, but they had it for three seventy four. This is what you use to poke your dies and clean the the paper out with. So that's what I picked up. And then this was not even on sale. These were in the baking section, but I fell in love with them. They're um, for cake pops, and I just love the colors that are in here. And um, Natalie put some bling on it. Did some 
uh, crocheted lollipops. I bet this would look really cute with that. So anyway, now for the dies. There's tons of dies on clearance. This one was $2.49. It's a rainbow shaker. Pretty cute. This one was $3.74. Tim Holtz tags, which you can always use tags for anything. Uh, this one is $3.24. And this one has all those flowers, butterflies, leaves, whatever is all in there. So I thought that was a great buy. This one was $2.49. And I don't like the way they displayed the flower here, but I love it down there. I think that looks so pretty. And imagine a nice center on there. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm glad I picked that up. Uh, this one was $4.24. Tim Holtz. I bought this one mainly for the sun and the gumball machine because it's so cute. This was $3.24, and these are, I don't know, this is going to be work, I think. This is like a paper piecing madness, <laughs> but I don't mind. I think they'll be cute for little embellishments, and I think this die right here that's in here cuts confetti. I have a feeling that's what that's meant to be, but I'm not sure. It's just a, it's an unusual die, so that's why I think it's confetti, but it's got ice cream cone and all the cute little goodies in there, and you can use them apart or separate or whatever. Um, they had this Rain boot for $2.49. It's a pretty cute size. They had this Tim Holtz one for $2.49. These are page markers, and I guess I don't know what those are. Parker, they could be for pockets or backgrounds for something. Uh, I picked up another one of these because I want it for a reason. I'll tell you later. But anyway, this one was for $24. I just bought one with a 40% off, so it was a better deal to get this one. Uh, then there's two more. This one was $4.24, and I don't think I have a square die. I have circles and ovals and rectangles, but I don't think I have squares. That's why I picked this one up for $4.24. And then this last one is a Sizzix Bigs die, and it makes the envelopes, and it was $4.99. Yes, I can make it with my punch board, but why if you have a die? So there you go. That's my first part of my haul. I'll come back with another shortly. And until then, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.